हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द थास्तु एंड वेलकम टू आर इनिशिएटिव दैट इज आधारशिला वेयर इन आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू अबाउट द गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स रादर आई वुड लाइक टू से दिस थिंग ओके सो दिस इज द वेरी फर्स्ट क्लास फ्रॉम वेयर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ऑफ विद द गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स इन द प्रीवियस वन आई टोल्ड यू दैट विद वट आर द काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन बेसिकली यूपीएससी फ्रेम्स फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स वट एवर गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स कम अप विद द uh the government actually come up with the any kind of schemes and based on that whatever what are the basically the kind of questions which it frames what the upsc actually frames so that is what we are going to that we actually did in the very first class right now this is the second class jahan par ki hum janenge that uh, uh, about the ayushman bharat basically this class is related to that only so what we are going to learn in this thing first of all i let you know as all of us are aware of this thing and if you don't know this ayushman bharat it's actually falls under the ministry which ministry the ministry is ministry of health and family welfare okay so this is the ministry under which this ayushman bharat come now whenever we start off with our preparation jab bhi hum apna preparation start karte hain related to this government scheme itself okay so in that what do you have to do first of all check out that what are the kind of schemes it actually uh, work on or it actually releases right jo ki government hai jo society mein kis tarike ki cheezon ke liye schemes lekar ke aati hai okay so when it comes to the ministry of health and family welfare so these are the five types under which you can basically divide the various schemes which this ministry comes up with okay so the very first one is the health care services for all society this is the first one right next is the food security this is the second type of uh, schemes under which uh, uh, this ministry of health and family welfare actually releases different kind of schemes i will let you know about those schemes also next is maternal and child health okay this is the third one then comes the population in order to control population or to something else also they can come up with i'll give you the example next last one is the health care and health care resources and infrastructure okay so these are the five types of uh, uh, schemes under the ministry of health and family welfare now when it comes to the first one health care services for all society the very first one is the ayushman bharat okay the very first one is the ayushman bharat okay and this is the first scheme which we are going to discuss in today's class then apart from this what are the other schemes which the government has actually come up with the next one is the mission sampark and mission indradhanush okay and mission indradhanush okay so the first one is the mission uh, the first one is ayushman bharat then comes the mission sampark and the next one is the mission indradhanush apart from that there is uh, there are other schemes also nrhm okay so uh, and apart from that the abhim is also there right so these are some of the schemes okay and all of these schemes are very important also right right so when it comes to this healthcare uh, services for all society the ones which we will be discussing is the ayushman bharat then i will be discussing the mission indradhanush also and then comes the nrhm and nuhm okay the housing missions basically so those are the ones which i will be discussing now let's come to the next one that is the food security see you can very easily remember all these kind of things when it comes to the ministry of health and family welfare how the uh, the government can actually make sure that your health is really very good so for that food the important uh, the most important is the food actually so under this food security 
the one is the food security mission okay wherein they are actually targeting that we achieve this thing food security ka jo funda hai wo hum achieve kar sake wherein no one sleeps no one goes to bed without uh, without food okay so that is the one thing next that is the second one third is maternal and child health now here in comes the those schemes where in the mother and the child are at uh, are the at most focused one okay jahan par ki hum zyada unhi ke upar focus kar rahe so here the example will be the janani suraksha yojana okay so janani suraksha yojana wherein janani is the mother who is actually giving birth okay next is the kilkari this is the another example kilkari okay kilkari kilkari kis cheez ko kehte hain when a new child is born and you listen the sound of the child so that is what is called as the kilkari so this is obviously for the babies only okay then comes the pm surakshit matritv abhiyan प्रधानमंत्री सुरक्षित मातृत्व अभियान ओके मातृत्व अभियान आई हैव रिटर्न दैट एम ए सो मातृत्व अभियान सो दीज आर द एग्जांपल्स व्हेन इट कम्स टू द मेटर्नल एंड चाइल्ड हेल्थ राइट नेक्स्ट वन इज द पॉपुलेशन यहां पर अंडर दिस वन इज द मिशन परिवार विकास मिशन परिवार विकास ओके सो दिस इज द वन नेक्स्ट द लास्ट वन इज दिल्थ केयर एंड हेल्थ केयर रिसोर्सेस एंड द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर अंडर दिस थिंग कम्स द अमृत अमृत विच इज रियली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन अगेन ऑल ओवर अगेन दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट then comes the pradhan mantri swasthya i hope that everything is visible over here suraksha yojana pradhan mantri swasthya suraksha yojana right so these are the schemes which actually falls under the ministry of health and family welfare now one thing i would like to point out over here is that these are just a few of them when you will check out the various schemes which are being run by this ministry there are numerous number of schemes but these are one of the most important ones right now under these which are the schemes which i will be discussing is are the ayushman bharat then comes the mission indradhanush abhim also i will be discussing apart from that food security mission also then comes the pradhan mantri surakshit matritv abhiyan and janani suraksha uh, yojana this is also i will be discussing then the amrit so these are a few of the schemes which i will be discussing in our class that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so total seven schemes i will be discussing with you people okay now let's get started with the ayushman bharat okay so without much ado let's get started with this i hope that all of you now can understand that how i am going to approach ayushman bharat right now how you can remember this thing just imagine whenever you touch the feet of elder ones they simply say that ayushmati bhava ayushman bhava okay why they say that i actually ab iska matlab kya hai aapki lambi umar ho and aapki lambi umar kab hoti hai jab aapka health acha hota hai when you are having really very good body acha health hai aapke paas theek hai so you can very easily relate which ministry under which ministry it comes so that is the health ministry done over here now i have already told you in the starting itself in the very first class that these are the points which you have to keep in your mind the very first one whenever you are reading theek hai so about 
the, whenever you are covering any of the scheme, so first of all, you have to check out the aim of that. Now, what is the aim of this particular scheme? So that is the universal health coverage. Okay, so I'm writing the full form also universal health coverage. Okay, so universal health coverage, this is the main point of this thing. They want to do this thing that everyone is actually being covered under this particular umbrella, under uh, one umbrella. Now, how you can relate, uh, related with Krishna. Krishna ne kya kiya, apni choti si ungli ke upar itni badi pahari, pahar jo hai, Govardhan Parvat usko utha liye te, and everyone was uh, actually saved by him. Just because everyone was under that umbrella kind mountain mountain ke niche the, to aap usko umbrella. So that is the universally he uh, uh, the people are actually being covered. ठीक है? तो universal health coverage. Now when it comes to the Ayushman Bharat, ये बहुत ही ज़्यादा आप इसको कह सकते हैं ambitious program है. This is really very uh, ambitious program. How? Because it is the world's largest health program. Okay, this is the world's largest healthcare scheme. So please do remember this thing. This is one factor related to this thing. This is the world's largest health scheme which is being run by us. Apart, apart from that, there is one Manrega also, which is very large level, very large level, what is it doing? वो वहाँ पे तो जॉब प्रोवाइड कर रहा है, but यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है? आयुष्मान भारत लार्जर स्केल पे जो है, वो लोगों को कवरेज प्रोवाइड कर रहा है, that every is everyone is actually being covered. Now the what is the funda behind this thing? मैं एकदम to the point सारी चीजें बताऊँगी, लेकिन कुछ चीजें ऐसी हैं, जिसको कि अगर आप ध्यान में रखोगे तो बहुत आराम से you can relate and understand things. Okay, so what you have to keep in your mind is that in India, we people always take insurance. When it comes to the insurance, in India, people are very much like, Bhai, I will be having insurance related to life. Matlab, life insurance jo hai, wo lete hai. Thikhe? Those kind of insurance, especially when it comes to the LIC, no, life insurance, we or, or most of the people over here in India, everyone uh, prefers the life insurance only. But how many of you are, have actually heard about the health insurance? So under this umbrella, under this Ayushman Bharat, the government is actually trying to do this thing only. Okay, where in the preventive and the protective area, everything, the care will be provided in full way. Okay, the preventive and protective care is actually being done over here. Okay, so now the next point related to these things. So one is done when it comes to the aim. Another is that there are two components. Okay, there are two components of this scheme, under this scheme. Okay, the very first one is that they will be actually coming up with they uh, the when they had actually the government had uh, actually came up with this particular program the aim was to come up with 1.5 lakh the health and wellness centers okay so the target was to have 1.5 lakhs health and care centers okay this was the one thing and this was supposed to be done by December 2022, which the government as of now, uh, as per the data, which is actually being seen. So as has been provided, so it has been achieved actually. The next component is the Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana. Okay, so this is the another component, Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana. This is the second one. one so two components you have to remember. First one is the preventive care. This is the preventive care, right, wherein they are actually trying to prevent anything to happen. Agar koi cheez jo hai, wo bohati large scale pe aapko dikkat kare, usse pehle hi aapko bachane ki koshish kar rahe hai. So that is the preventive care. So preventive care, they are trying to provide it through the health and care centers. Okay, next component is the protective care. Now the protective care is the Pradhan Mantri Jan Aroge Yojana. This is the 
प्रोटेक्टिव केयर ओके दिस इज द सेकेंड वन राइट नाउ वेन इट कम्स टू द प्रधानमंत्री जन आरोग्य योजना वॉट इट एक्चुअली एम्स एट इट एक्चुअली एम्स टू प्रोवाइड द कैशलेस हेल्थ फैसिलिटीज ओके एंड देर शुडेंट बी एनी काइंड ऑफ आउट ऑफ पॉकेट एक्सपेंडिचर so that is the target over here right so cashless health facilities should be provided and this is supposed to be done for the poor and vulnerable section for the poor and vulnerable sections okay for the poor and vulnerable sections these are supposed to be done because see there are basically these are the kind of people who are facing a lot of problem right so first of all you have to check out what is the aim of the ayushman bharat universal health coverage is there then there are two components the two components are the one the 1.5 lakh health and care centers were supposed to be provided so that is done then the another component is the pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana under which they aim to provide the cashless health facilities for the poor and vulnerable sections of the society and apart from that there shouldn't be any kind of out of pocket no out of pocket kharcha out of pocket expenditure now what do you understand by the out of pocket expenditure when it comes to the out of pocket expenditure it means that you are actually not spending extra out of pocket ka matlab kya ho gaya aapke paas itna paisa hai this is your pocket itna paisa hai and within that only you are spending and you are not supposed to take, you won't be taking any kind of loan from anywhere in order to spend it on your health right so no extra expenditure so you are actually trying to keep things within the boundary itself okay so so now we have seen this thing about the pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana there is one more point which you have to keep on uh, keep in your mind when co while covering this thing pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana and this is that this actually comes up this has this has come up by subsuming two of these schemes it means that there were two schemes they have joined that they have collaborated or you can say ki usko mila kar ke dono hi schemes ko mila kar ke they have come up with this pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana so the first one is the rashtriya swasthya bima yojana rashtriya swasthya bima yojana okay so rashtriya swasthya bima yojana and the another one is the senior citizen health insurance scheme okay senior citizen health insurance scheme okay this is also important whenever they are actually subsuming any of the programs any two or three of the programs and coming up with any new program so you need to know that which are those programs which they have joined okay so these are the ones apart from that as you can see from here what they have done swasthya bima yojana okay senior citizen health insurance scheme so bima means insurance insurance means a scheme so it is actually talking about the insurance so it actually provides pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana it actually provides 5 lakh rupees of insurance 5 lakh rupees of insurance per family per year okay so this is also very important point 5 lakh rupees per family per year okay so this was a little bit information related to the pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana now let's come back to the this particular point about the healthcare centers now we are going to cover up that thing a few points are uh, we are actually left with that so 
it was related to the health and care centers health care centers basically right so the health care centers are there so here what they are doing is they transform the sub centers and primary health care centers into the health and wellness centers so they are transforming sub centers they are transforming centers and primary health care centers okay they are transforming sub centers and primary health care centers into health and wellness centers okay into health and wellness centers okay so renaming done right so this is what they uh, they are actually they actually did health iske under inhone kya kiya preventive care ke under preventive care jo hai this is basically the preventive care okay health centers ki jagah pe better ye rahega if we are writing the preventive care okay under the preventive care centers they transform the sub centers and primary health care centers into health and wellness centers the this is the one now what is the uh, what are the services which actually it will be providing so the services are the preventing basically the lifestyle kind of diseases lifestyle based diseases okay lifestyle based diseases ab lifestyle based diseases kaisi ho sakti hain like diabetes because of your food habits because of not having because of not having uh, the food foods properly on time uh, those are the ones apart from that maternal and child health services also it will be providing maternal and child health services it will be providing okay these are some of the points now when it comes to the funding funding kahan se aayega bhai funding kahan se aayegi so funding is uh, it will be coming from like csr csr ye jo corporates hote hain wo apni taraf se kuch contributions dete hain so through that csr ke through jo hai kuch funding yahan se aayegi iske alawa some fundings will be coming from the philanthropist also जो लोग विलिंगली यू नो अपने आ, अपनी इच्छा के अनुसार जो है पैसे को दान दे देते हैं लोगों को राइट सो थ्रू दैट इट विल बी एक्चुअली गेटिंग द फंड्स राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द नेशनल हेल्थ मिशन आल्सो सो द फंडिंग प्रोवाइडेड इन दैट विल आल्सो बी यूज ओवर हियर ओके दैट ऑल्सो बी यूज ओवर हियर राइट नाउ द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज दैट रिलेटेड टू द फंडिंग बेसिकली सो एज we have talked about this the national health mission then csr then philanthropist these are the ones from where the fundings will be coming apart from that the central government will also be providing fundings over here the money will be provided to the central government as well now what will be done in this the very first thing is that when it comes to the states and the union territories with the legislatures so there the uh, 60 is to 40 thing will be done okay so the ratio will be in this thing so this is for the central government and this is for the states or the union territories uts these are the basic the, this is the basic way through which the funding is actually being done so 60% will be provided by the uh, the central government and the 40% will be uh, will be uh, actually provided through the state only the other whichever the state is okay next one is the 90 is to 10 okay so this is done uh, 90 is to done uh, 90 is to 10 is being uh, is actually the kind of funding which is being provided for the north eastern states and apart from that the uh, three himalayan states okay so here the north eastern states plus the three himalayan states okay this is the one 
Now, last one is the 100 percent, and this is the kind of funding which is being provided by the central government for all the UTs, that is the union territories without legislature. This is the kind of funding. Now, when it comes to this thing, see, uh, we have already done, we are already done with the main, main important points related to this thing. Okay. The last point which I would like to point out over here is that when it comes to the coverage, so it will be covering that particular point also when you are actually being hospitalized. So that particular kharcha will also be covered expenditure apart from that after that also when you have been discharged from the hospitals, the hospital because that is also a kind of expenditure on your health. So everything is actually being covered under this one umbrella that is the Ayushman Bharat and this is really very ambitious program which has been actually run by the government. Now over here the main problem, I wouldn't say the main problem back, uh, but actually the आप एक तरीके से कह सकते हो कि स्टेट गवर्नमेंट जो है उनका यहाँ पे इन्वॉल्वमेंट बहुत ज़्यादा ज़रूरी रहेगा बिकॉज़ व्हेन इट कम्स टू द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एवरीथिंग इज़ ऑन द शोल्डर ऑफ़ द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स बेसिकली ओके सो दिस इज़ द थिंग सो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स प्लेस रियली वेरी इम्पोर्ट so this is it related to the Ayushman Bharat, a very crisp kind of thing which was uh, actually provided from me. Now let's revise these, okay? Let's revise all of these. Let me choose some different color. Yellow won't be visible. Let's choose blue only. Well, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Okay, under these there are five kind of schemes. Uh, first one is the health care and health care services for all society. Next comes the food security, then maternal and child health, then comes population and then comes the health care resource, resources and infrastructure. Under these there are various schemes like when it comes to health care services for all society, Aishman Bharat, Mission Sampark, Mission Indra Dhanush, Abhim is there, food security, food security mission is there, maternal and child health, Janani Suraksha Yojana, Kilkari, PM Surakshit, uh, this uh, Pradhan Mantri Surakshit Matritu Abhiyan is there, underpopulation, uh, this mission Parivar Vikas is there, healthcare resources and infrastructure, Amrit is there, Pradhan Mantri Swasthya Suraksha Yojana is there. Then what we covered about the Ayushman Bharat, the aim is of the universal health coverage, okay, so that is the one, Ayushman Bharat under the health ministry, well, this is the world's largest health scheme which is actually being run by any of the government India here the insurance is actually being provided over here and when it comes to India all of us actually prefer the life insurance over the health insurance next is the two components there are two components one is the 1.5 lakh health and care uh, health and wellness centers basically health and wellness centers are supposed to be established which has already been done next is the pradhan mantri jan aroge yojana when it comes to the pradhan mantri jan aroge yojana here they are targeting poor and vulnerable sections of our society where in the cashless health facilities will be provided to them through the insurance which they will be taking under this pradhan mantri jan aroge yojana here they are targeting not to uh, do these kind of things that the people are actually not spending out of pocket expenditure then comes when it comes to the Pradhan Mantri Jan Aroge Yojana there are there were two schemes which has been subsumed under this Pradhan Mantri Jan Aroge Yojana those are Rashtriya Swasthya Bhima Yojana and the Senior Citizen Health Insurance Scheme is there under this 5 lakh rupees per family per year is actually being provided this is actually providing some kind of insurance to the people then Preventive care centers are there where in the sub centers and primary health centers, primary health centers which were earlier there, they has been actually changed into the health and wellness centers. They will be targeting the lifestyle based diseases. They will try to, you know, prevent these kind of things by obviously generating the awareness and all. Maintain a maternal child health insurance, uh, child health services will also be provided under these uh, preventive care centers. Here, the onus is on the on the state to implement these. 
central government will be when it comes to the funding basically the funding are from the uh, national health mission csr philanthropist and apart from that the central government is also providing funding over here and when it comes to the center and states and the union territories with the legislature the funding will be divided under the 60 is to 40 and when it comes to the northeast and the himalayan states basically the three himalayan states here the funding will be in the 90 is to 10 then comes the union territories without legislature there the 100 percent funding will be provided from the government itself okay so this was it related to the ayushman bharat scheme i hope that all of you people enjoyed uh, this thing and from the next in the next session i will be taking one question or two question from this ayushman bharat which you have to reply in the comment section so be prepared and do revise this thing. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care and have a great time. Jai Hind.